Hello children, I am Chaya from Lotus Lab School. I am your science teacher. Yes, I am, this is lesson 1. I am going to explain you lesson 1. The green plants. Yes, we see the green world around us. The green world is green because of plants. Why the plants are green in color? Yes, why the plants are green in color? Plants are green in color because of the green leaves. Is it not children? Yes. Now, let us see the plant first. Plant is having the roots. Yes. The root structure and coming with the shoot system. And then the branches. We have the branches. And to the branches, we have the leaves. We have the leaves. Now, you can see the leaf structures here. The leaves are in which color? Green color. Leaves are in green color. Why the leaf is in green color? Can you think, can tell us, tell me children? Yes, it is because of the pigment present in the leaf. What is the pigment? The pigment is chlorophyll. Chlorophyll. This is a green color pigment present in the leaf. If this is as this pigment is green in color, it makes the leaf green in color. Yes, children. So, let us, today let us study about the structure of leaf. The leaf is supported with a small stalk here to the plant. You can see the stalk here, isn't it? This is known as petiole. Now, you can see the structure of leaf here. Yes. Yes, this is the leaf structure. This is the part which is attached to the branch. This is known as petiole. It is the stalk of the leaf. It is known as petiole. And now the leaf, this petiole is extended into the leaf, into the stalk like structure. This structure, this long structure is known as midrib. What is the function of this midrib? Now the petiole is attached to the plant. Then what is the function of midrib? This midrib will, whatever the water is absorbed by this roots, is sent into the shoot system. From the shoot system, it is sent into the branches. From the branches, it is sent through the petiole into the leaf. Yes, children. So, the water is sent through the petiole into the midrib. So that the leaf get the water. Only the midrib will provide water. No. There are some more small lines like structures here. The small lines like structures. These are known as veins. These are known as veins. So the water which is provided from this midrib, it provides into these veins. From the veins, it is sent into small structures called vein ribs. Yes, through these structures, the water is provided to all the leaf. Now, the leaf is green in color. It is having a flat portion, isn't it? Yes, the flat portion of the leaf here, the complete portion of the leaf. The flat portion of the leaf is known as lamina. It is known as lamina. It is also called as leaf blade. It is also called as leaf blade. So, this flat portion consists of this chlorophyll. This is about the structure of leaf. Now, why we have to study about the structure of leaf? You all know, we call it as green plant. Leaf only prepares the food. Leaf prepares the food for the plant. Now, how we prepare the food? What is that process called? That process called as photosynthesis. The process of preparing food is called as photosynthesis. Now, let us see what are the materials required for photosynthesis and what are the end products? What are the products of photosynthesis? Yes, children. What is photosynthesis? 
photo what is the meaning of this word photo photo means light what is the meaning of this photo synthesis synthesis what is the meaning of this synthesis to put together to put together that means what are raw materials the leaf is collecting it will put together a reaction takes place and the food is prepared now let us see what are the raw materials required for photosynthesis Oxygen 
oxygen we have to keep the arrow up like this why because it will release oxygen into the air so it should be given arrow plus water vapor yes water vapor is also released into the air only so one more arrow upwards we have to use so this is the equation given for photosynthesis process so what is it carbon dioxide plus water in the presence of chlorophyll and sunlight it gives sugar oxygen and also water vapor oxygen is released into the air we all human beings all the living organism breathe in oxygen yes water vapor is released out because of the it is one of the this water vapor is also it will be evaporating and it will help in the formation of clouds okay children and then and this is the equation of photosynthesis now coming to this sugar the plant which is preparing this sugar then for what it will be using it oxygen and water vapor it is used then what about this sugar now we all are eating food in the same way the plant to get energy it requires food but the plant itself it is preparing the food isn't it that food this sugar whatever the plant requires it will be taking it will be utilizing for getting energy then remaining sugar what it will do it will store in its plant parts in all the plant parts it will be storing for example in carrot we take in carrot where the plant is storing the food in roots so only the sugar is after utilizing it is storing in the roots as starch it will store in the form of starch as it is storing in the roots we are eating that root product now if we take curry leaves spinach it will be stored in the leaves itself so only we are taking them as food is it isn't not children then in some case like apple banana yes pomegranate pineapple all this it will be stored in the fruits so this food is stored in the fruits and we are taking as food okay children i hope you all understood about this yes thank you have a nice day green plants make their own food leaves make food for plants by a process called photosynthesis photo means light and synthesis means putting together the food made by the leaves is sugar leaves need sunlight water carbon dioxide and chlorophyll to make food for a plant chlorophyll present in green leaves helps them to absorb sunlight they take in carbon dioxide from the air through the stomata roots absorb water and minerals from the soil and send them to the leaves during this process oxygen is given out by the plants into the air through the stomata the extra food is stored in roots stems leaves and seeds as starch